It's about that time of the month again. It's time for Crash Bandicoot 4 Mods of the Month for June. Let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here, and back with a brand new Mods of the Month. The activity and the amount of mods that Crash 4 has been getting has been absolutely insane. From skins to full-blown levels. In fact, I have a dedicated mod video coming soon of a series of custom-made levels. If you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. As always, all these mods will be linked in the description below, but always download at your own risk. I downloaded all these mods myself and everything is fine, but I gotta give that warning. Now, Crash Bandicoot always used to have some of the best intros for their games, like Crash Warped, CTR, and even Crash Bash, to name a few. When the remake started to come out, Activision seemed to want to continue emulating that visual with the Insane Trilogy and CTR Nitro Fueled intros, but there seemed to be one missing for Crash Bandicoot 4. But you know, sometimes the coolest mods happen before the game even begins. Activision presents Created and developed by Toys for Bob Crash Bandicoot 4 it's about time! Press start to begin. Sponge Bandymark, a huge modder in the Crash Modding community, has once again done it with an awesome mod, bringing back the classic feel of the classic intros for Crash Bandicoot 4. But some of you might be asking, how was this possible? How could Sponge Bandymark get the voiceover of Lex Lang to do this? Actually, it was already in the game. Sponge Betty Mark was digging around in the files of Crash 4 and found a slew of dialogue, both in-game and cut. Within the cut dialogue, there were a number of hilarious lines from Lex Lang, the voice actor of Cortex, like this one. Ah, uh, look at us, rallying like friends. Uh, wait, I hate you! But Sponge Banny Mark found some dialogue akin to a classic Crash intro that was cut from the final product. So, he got to work and recreated it with the found audio. He also tossed in a classic Crash Warp line just for fun. Speaking of Crash Bandicoot Warp, Sponge Banny Mark and Nitro Nito brought an interesting skin to life that was in the artwork of Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. The Crash Biker skin is a classic look that's been seen in CTR, Crash 4, and even Crash in the Run. It's become a staple to the series, but in Crash 4, Coco got her own biker skin to match Crash. But did you know that Coco at one point also had a different outfit for biking in Crash Warped? In this image here, we can make out that she is behind Crash, wearing a white tank top, a leather skirt, and black heels. Nitro Nito redrew it with the Crash 4 Coco, and Sponge Bandy Mark brought it to life in Crash 4. A fun skin that brings to light a fact that many might not have known about Coco in Crash Bandicoot's past. The next mod is by Gravilla, one of the trio who brought the Crash McFly skin to life from the previous mod video. They went ahead and created a new take on Tana. I know, Tana is featured in almost every mod video, but don't worry, we got another Coco skin to show off later on. But this take on Tana is called Quantum Biker Tana, a new skin based off the idea of Tana being a part of a motorcycle gang. She rocks shades, a leather jacket, and even a fiery sweater underneath. This is really cool because according to some cut concept art, skins were originally supposed to be a part of the game for the side playable characters, but were cut later on. We still don't know why, but maybe the community can fill that void and start putting skins back into the game for the side playable characters. Overall, a great skin once again by Gravilla. Speaking of Crash McFly, the same three modders who worked on bringing that skin to life have now brought a brand new skin to the game, Traveling Surfer. Again. Credits go to Gravilla, Shift Psych, and Thunderous. What's cool about this skin is the little details, from the necklace to the PlayStation sacred symbols on the legs of the shorts. Not only does this mod come with a skin, but it also comes with a rocket board that's also custom for this skin specifically. Overall, a great skin made by the trio once more. But now, it's time to get a little evil. Last week, we had a look at Distorted Machine's Evil Crash. 
But this week, we are also taking a look at T. Sin Innies. I'm very sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name. Their take of Evil Coco. Evil Coco was a cut character from Twin Sanity. Of course, she became huge in the community because of... Um, <clears throat> reasons. However, in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, during the Halloween Grand Prix, they brought back Evil Coco as a skin for Coco, called Dark Coco. Beanox did, however, take creative liberty with the skin, making her a bit, um, I suppose, less fleshed out? Making the character overall a bit more family friendly, though. With this mod installed, Evil Coco, or I suppose Dark Coco, whatever you want to call it, will replace the base Coco skin. I always loved the skin from CTR, and I actually might leave it in permanently. Also, the mod comes with their own take of Evil Crash. The final mod, the one that most of you have waited for, is once again by Sponge Bandymark. Introducing the mod that has become infamous in the Crash community, Crash Et, a female take on Crash Bandicoot. But here's the thing, there's a little history behind this. It all started back when a new power-up was introduced in Mario, where it would turn Toadette into a beautiful princess that looks like Peach. Then an artist made this infamous comic, where Peach rejects both Mario and Bowser. So Bowser proposes to use the power-up to turn into Bowsette. Bowsette became an internet phenomenon. Fan art, cosplays, you name it, it went crazy. This started some other fan bases to throw this power up on their own favorite characters. So, CTR Patrick Star, a Twitter page that is known for their skill in CTR and their overall memes and jokes, made this image, which then encouraged many, many artists to do their own take on the adeptly named Crashette. Some tried to keep the shape of Crash, some went full Crash and Peach hybrid. Even the official artist who finalized the look of Crash in Crash 4 decided to join in on the fun with his own take of Crashette. It was crazy. So, Sponge Bandymark partnered with Elena Gray, where she designed a look for Crashette that was based off of the Crash 4 design, and Bandymark put it together and got it working in Crash 4. So, if you want a female duo for Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time, then this mod is for you. That's it for the mods of the month. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much to all those who not only support the channel, but myself and my family. Because of your contributions, I'm able to do this full time. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider clicking the join button or becoming a Patreon with the link in the description. I also live stream every Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and say hi. Again, thank you to everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream.